Friends, uh, namaskar, good afternoon, and welcome to this special briefing on Prime Minister's visit to Osaka, Japan for the 14th G20 summit on, from 27 to 29 June. For uh, our Prime Minister, Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi, this will be his, the sixth time he will be participating at the G20 summit. Apart from participating at the summit itself, Prime Minister will also have bilateral meetings. He will also participate at few plurilateral meetings. And uh, we will announce those meetings closer to the date. I have the pleasure to welcome here on the dais Prime Minister Sherpa for the G20 summit, Sri Suresh Prabhu. I also have Joint Secretary Multilateral Economic Relations in the Ministry of External Affairs, Sri Suresh Reddy. We will start with the initial remarks by the Sherpa. And after that, we will take questions from the audience. Sir, over to you. Good afternoon, friends. As you know, over a period of time, and particularly after the big economic shock of 2008, the G20s have become a very important global platform for dealing with, to begin with, economic issues. And now, over a period of time, many other important global issues. And G20 being obviously consists of such members who together contribute to almost 85% of global GDP, economic issues assume great importance. And particularly in the light of so many interesting developments recently, in the light of fear about global slowdown, I'm sure one of the very important issues that will be discussed in the G20 summit in Osaka later next week will be the economic issues. But economic issues have been already some of the important aspect of it is a free trade and economic growth because we already experienced that slower the global trade, it immediately impacts adversely the economic growth. And therefore, it's a challenge how to bring in more trade and that to also removing all the hurdles that have been created over a period of time for easy flow of goods. And therefore, the global trade and the free trade and economic growth, which are inexplicably linked to each other, will be discussed, obviously. Society 5.0 is a very important item for discussion because we are already seeing that now, globally, societies are changing. How do you deal with that? And as I said, other issues get discussed, and one of them inevitably is linked to energy and environment. They are the two sides of the same coin. What kind of energy we are going to use? And India will be able to showcase its great remarkable strides into changing the energy mix, which in turn can also result into global change of energy mix. We are already committed to have 100,000 megawatts of solar, 70,000 megawatts of wind. And India being, thanks to our prime minister's leadership, being the pioneer and the founder, the co-founder of International Solar Alliance. 